Many contestants have culinary idols they look up to. I've got scallops on a champagne cream sauce. It's from a recipe that I love from French chef Alain Sondrons. But is following a famous chef's recipe any guarantee of success? My jellies seem happier days, but it's got sparkling wine and a salmon roe inside it. You said it was an Alain Sondrons recipe. Yeah. Did he serve it with jelly? And... No, no. I think the jelly is completely out of place. Oh, interesting. I'm not trying to be a drama queen or anything. It's just the leeks are taking some eating. It's a bit of a shoddy dish, to tell you the truth. A cold slimy jelly and a hot cream sauce? No, thank you. And brandishing a three-star French chef's name, um, that's embarrassing. As the auditions roll on, convincing the judges isn't getting any easier. I just thought that I needed to make it a little bit more sophisticated, maybe for something like this. So. More sophisticated than a classic French dish. It doesn't taste great. It's definitely going to be a no from me. I just don't think it's worked out for you today. It's all just a bit dry, it needs sauce. So it's a no from me too. Not enough sauce. <laughs> Are you serious? That's the way a cookie crumbles. My name's Shanella Corey. I am originally from Los Angeles, but I have lived in New Zealand for about 18 years. Ah, crispy duck. I'm a little quirky, a little feisty, and fairly confident. These are the chips, obviously. Yes. Yeah, they're looking a bit toasty, aren't they? They need to have quite a bit of colour on it to get the crisp. I have to say, through the middle here, we're looking a bit raw. It's completely black, just about right through. Your plum sauce is good. I like that. I need to think about this. Thank you. That duck there is pretty rare, isn't it? About the best. What do you think? I think you should give me a chance. Based on? The flavours are there. You've definitely got the flavour thing going. I'm not even going to try one of these chips because you can see by the colour of them they're going to be bitter. For me, it's a maybe. While I love your flavours, your execution is not great there, so I think we'll put you back on the bench and we'll think about it for later. Go and grab a seat. It's a maybe. Apparently someone else has said yeah, a maybe. Yeah, I'm going to kick his butt. Where is he? <laughs> Make sure he can't make it. For 27-year-old IT specialist Sushil, this is the opportunity of a lifetime. I'm really passionate about food and cooking. I, all I do during the day is think about what I'm going to make for tea. Just being here is just unbelievable. I've always enjoyed watching MasterChef on TV and I always wanted to be a part of it. I believe MasterChef will give me the perfect exposure that I need to enter into the culinary world. If I get through, I'll definitely be missing my wife and daughter. But in saying that, I'll be thinking about them throughout the competition and I'll give it all I can and do it for them. This looks quite complicated. Tell us all about it. It's a, a surf and turf Indian style. Right. And it's got a mescaline and a paneer salad. I really like your flavours. I think they're very, very good. Thank you. What sort of preparation have you done to come here today? I've been preparing all my life for this moment. Wow. And I finally got here and I'm stoked. <laughs> and at the same time, it's just an honour to stand in front of you three and present my dish. Thank you, sir. Sure. Now Thank we'll you. let's get some other opinions. Thank you. Good. It's a pretty good effort. That salad, that salad's really let it down. Okay. People like you really excite me. If I could decide right now, I'd give you a yes. But it sounds like the salad might be the one thing that's going to have you in the doo-doos a little. I don't know if you ever see much fusion food that's very good. And you've done some really great fusion food, and I'd like to see some more, so it's going to be a yes from me. Thanks, Ray. The salad really lets it down. OK. And on that basis, I'll give it a no. I think the flavours are fantastic, and I think you're exactly what really we're looking for in MasterChef. 
I'm going to give you a yes. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. You better show Josh that he got it wrong, huh? Throughout the day, several more contestants show they've got what it takes to win a coveted MasterChef apron. I always look for that instinctual sort of talent. I think you're that kind of cook. Thank you. It's a terrible looking dish, but a great tasting dish. And at the end of the day, that's what we need. I'm going to give you a yes. You guys know how to make a girl sweat. <laughs> mm. Pasta's delicious. Filling's just sensational. Thank you so much. I'd pay for that. Thank you. And with 23 aprons gone, the judges face a tough decision. We're down to one, and we've got two people sitting out there who have given maybes. They've got to cook something. I think it's the only fair way around it. They've got to battle it out to get this, and we want them to fight for it. Neither of your dishes were quite good enough to go straight through to the top 24. So what you're going to be doing is a challenge. We need an omelette. We're looking for degree of cooking, presentation and seasoning. You've got five minutes and your time starts now. At the MasterChef New Zealand auditions, two contestants are competing for one remaining apron. I um, haven't made that many omelettes before. I have no idea what the technique is. Seasoning is the secret. <laughs> it's a matter of being a little patient, and I don't have much time. Darren, I'll taste yours first. Chanel, yours isn't bavoose uh, through the centre, it, it isn't quite just under in the centre, you can see that. Yours is liquid in the centre, but over seasoned. All as I can taste sitting here is, is, is pepper and a salty taste in my mouth, much like your salmon. Based on that, I would go with Chanel. I prefer Chanel's presentation and I find the seasoning and Darren's a little too hefty, like your salmon. So my decision is Chanel. Well done. Good stuff. I'm going to be happy in a minute, but my heart's really breaking for Darren. It really is. It's bittersweet, but, you know, I can't be happier, really, because this is what I wanted, so it's great. Well, that was brutal, but um, we were talking about an, an omelette that's slightly cooked too much. Presentation's both the same, but sitting here, all as I still get is black pepper and salt, um, and his was heavily over-seasoned, again. <laughs> the second dish where the seasoning's not right from him. He's obviously got a problem with seasoning. <laughs> well, we've got our 24. Who's going to be the next New Zealand Master Chef, eh? Do you know? You ready for the ride? <laughs> <laughs> There's about four or five beauties in there, I think. I think we're in for a great season. I'm just looking for food that tastes bloody great. I know they've probably swatted up the other three series, but really, you know, you cook for yourself because you've got to think it's good. This year I'm looking for clean flavours, I'm looking for um, intelligent cooking. Bring it on, it's going to be good. Yeah.